The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is an American tilt rotor aircraft, with vertical takeoff and landing as well as short takeoff and landing capabilities. The Osprey was designed to combine conventional helicopter capabilities with the long-range, high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. After the failed Iran hostage rescue in 1980, the U.S. military realized it was in need of a new type of aircraft that could take off and land vertically, while also capable of carrying combat troops at speed. This led to the start of the JVX aircraft program, in 1981. In 1983, the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps were given the lead in the JVX program. The program combined requirements from the Marine Corps, the Air Force, the Army and the Navy. A request for proposal was issued in December 1982, and in February 1983 Bell and Boeing Vertol submitted a proposal for an enlarged version of the Bell XV-15 prototype. A design contract was awarded in April 1983. By March 1985, six prototypes of the V-22 Osprey were being produced by Bell and Boeing. Full-scale development began in 1986. By 1986, all four U.S. military services were planning to acquire the V-22. However, in 1988, the U.S. Army left the program. The reason given was the need to focus the budget on more immediate aviation programs. Attempts were made to defund the V-22 program, but these attempts were stopped by Congress. The first six prototypes flew in March 1989 in helicopter mode, and in September in fixed-wing mode. The first sea trials were completed in December 1990. Two prototypes crashed in 1991 and 1992, and between October 1992 and April 1993, the V-22 was redesigned, and redesignated the V-22B. The empty weight was reduced, the design was simplified and build costs were reduced. Flights resumed in June 1993. Flight testing of four full-scale development V-22s began in 1997, but soon fell behind schedule. The first low-rate initial production aircraft were delivered in May 1999. In 2000, there were two fatal V-22 crashes, killing 23 Marines. The V-22 was grounded while parts were redesigned. In June 2005, the V-22 completed its final operational evaluation, and in September the Pentagon formally approved full-rate production. The Osprey typically operates as a helicopter during takeoff and landing, and when airborne, the engines rotate forward for horizontal flight. 43% of the airframe is made up by composites. The rotors can fold for storage, and the wings can rotate to align with the fuselage. The V-22 is powered by two Rolls-Royce A1107C engines. The V-22 can be armed with one 308 caliber M240 machine gun, or 150 caliber M2 machine gun on the rear loading ramp. Some V-22s also has a belly-mounted remotely operated gun turret system, known as the Interim Defense Weapon System. Trials have been made with other kinds of weapons as well. The Osprey has generated some controversy, since it has been involved in several crashes and minor incidents during its time in service. The V-22 Osprey has served in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as in a Marine Corps Crisis Response Task Force. It is used by the Marine Corps, as well as the U.S. Army and the U.S. Navy. It is also used by Japan's Self-Defense Forces, and is being considered by other countries. <laughs>